Hello, everyone. Welcome to Seed Our Faith. So let's jump right into the beginning of our new series of how to begin personal healing. Many of you have asked if we could address this concern, and I agree. So I would like to take us on a journey, one where we start at the very beginning of self. Now, all of us have something within us that need healing. Much of it we block out because, well, it's too painful or we're simply unaware, or we resist addressing it because it takes us out of our comfort level. That's when we receive the greatest rewards. And if healing is not acknowledged, we will find ourselves in a repeated pattern over and over again, struggling with the same challenges, the same type of people, the same hurt and disappointments. It is difficult to have a whole and a healthy relationship in anything or with anyone if we do not first heal, first find peace and unconditional love for ourselves within, let alone to find that joy and abundance. But we've given, been given the tools that are necessary to heal ourselves and our situations of these burdens. And we're going to explore many of these tools and more in the upcoming mini videos of this series. There are other videos out there regarding self-healing and growth and such uh, that if you can find it, it will resonate with you and help as well. But anything that we choose to learn, we just have to remember, it just takes a little practice on our part. Now, one thing we need to remember that we cannot heal nor change by thinking and doing things the same way that we are already doing them. I'll say that again. We cannot change nor heal by thinking and doing things the same way that we are now. We will just keep getting, well, the same results we've been getting. However, we will heal by seeding and changing in small ways. And I'm one of those who truly believe that if we make the effort in the small steps, God, the universe, karma, will follow up and work on the big stuff. Now, you know, depending on your faith or belief system, we are knowing to be of spirit, energy, or vibration. All mean the same thing, whether your perspective is religious, spiritual, or based in science. We are all consciously and unconsciously working towards the goal of leveling up these energies for our higher spirit, for our higher selves, and ultimately for the collective. Now, what we understand is that we understand that we want to feel more grounded. We'd like to feel more at peace, more powerful and joyful within ourselves. We desire the strength, wisdom, and discernment to steer our decisions and our lives in the right direction, to be able to weather our storms, our disappointments, sadness, and pains, and turn them into lessons well learned that we will move on forward with into wholeness. Blessings and gains is what we receive from this. And then we're intended it to well share with others. Now, this of course requires that we first take a truthful look within while remaining gentle with ourselves in the healing process. At times, it's difficult to see past those pains, the wrongdoings and disappointments of the past that you may have caused others and others have done to you. These are life lessons. Life lessons, hard they may be, are meant to help us discover who we really are and level up to our higher self. Ultimately, we do. We begin to feel comfortable in our own bodies and our own lives and out in the world. And then abundance follows. Because much like the law of attraction, karma, as below as it is, as it is above, uh, done in, on earth as it is in heaven, uh, abundance only knows to respond. It only knows to bring in what you are putting out. Now, we're discussing healing, and you may not be aware of this right now, but I want to remind you, you are love. You are light. You are loved. You are filled with greatness. The divine, that source is within you. 
It's not out there somewhere. And you, you're filled with that potential, even though you may not be aware of it right now. You know, I believe it's time that each of us be given the opportunity for truth, enlightenment, and the love each of us deserve. That is what God truly desires for you. And that is what you truly deserve. So I promise you that you'll feel a difference even in the small steps in the baby steps. Each of us progress in our own ways and in divine timing and love. Sometimes it cannot be rushed. So there is no race to run, nothing to be discouraged about. This is your own personal and intimate journey with the divine to healing, to self-love, to release, to enlightenment, to grounding and joy. So follow along with us on this journey. There's uh, no specific schedule, no fee or commitment to make. Uh, no donations at this time uh, in case someone's trying to imposter seed our faith. But you do need to make sure that you subscribe, uh, hit the bell, the like, whatever it is, so that you can receive uh, future content. And also check out Seed Our Faith Facebook page for a ton more content, music, and inspiration. May you walk in the light and the love of God. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.